Hey there, uh, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the slide in transition that I used in my Stinky Man in 2021 video. Without further ado, let's get started. I already have a clip in my timeline. It's already cut up, it's in the right place. What you're gonna want to do is find where you want to start the effect. For example, I want to start it, you know, at the beginning of the clip. So what I'm going to do, zoom in all the way, click my right arrow key once, get the blade tool out, which is the B key. So you get this one frame segment. Zoom out a little bit, move the rest of the clip to the side, zoom back in. I'm going to want to click on the clip, go over to the right side, scroll down to a speed change and click on the little snowflake. And you're going to want to drag your clip out. Depends on song that you're using. I'm going to be using the same song that I used in the Stinky Man in 2021 video, which I'm going to link down below. So here we go. I'm going to drag in my music, turn down the volume a bit. A bit more I'm gonna find I want those three beats to be the slide in points so one two three I'm gonna go over click on them and mark them one by one so you can see that right there is one that right there is two and that right there is three so there we go. I have my three points of where I want the slide in to happen. I'm just going to cut my audio a bit short, just, you know, because I'm not using the, the first part. So here we have our frozen clip. What you're going to want to do is duplicate it three times. So unlink, click that little link selection button, or click Control Shift L. Click on the video clip and hold Alt and duplicate it three times. Then go into the color tab and select that first clip. Go over to the window tab and find the curve. Add a curve and you see that your tool changes. If you click, you add a point. If you click again, you add another point. And it's a straight line before uh, between those points. If you click and drag, you can add a curve. What you're gonna want to do is figure out which effect, sorry, which part of the video you want in to come on screen first. For me, it's probably gonna be the UI, followed by the gun, and then followed by the background. So if I want the UI to be the first thing, I'm gonna use middle mouse button to move around. I'm gonna go over to the UI, and I'm going to outline it completely. As you can see, I've outlined this part of the UI. Click Add Alpha Output, drag that blue box to the blue circle. And if I go back to my Edit tab and I disable the two video tracks, oh, whoops, wrong video tracks, video three and video two, as you can see, the only thing left is that UI. Now, for example, I also want to add the scoreboard. I go up to the scoreboard and I add another curve. I click, 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 click. And as you can see, if we go back into the edit tab and disable those video tracks, the scoreboard is also there. Say, for example, I want to add that top line too. Again, I click plus on the curve, but I make sure that I'm on track one. Click plus on the curve. Outline that little top bar and it's added into uh, the mask. For example, I want to outline that mini map too. This time I'm not going to use a curve, I'm going to use a circle. When I click plus on the circle, a circle appears in the center. I'm going to position it in the center of the mini map and I'm going to scale it down until this outer line with the white dots matches that outside of the circle. These red circles are softness. 
it's how blurry you want the edges of the mask to be. I like to drop down the softness to just a little bit. So it's not boxy, but it's not too blurry. As you can see, these are kind of boxy. So I'm going to go back in and change the softness values. To change the softness values, you just click on the mask that you want to edit. For example, this one. And you're going to add a bit of softness. I'm going to add a bit of inside, a bit of outside. If we go back. We can see that there's a nice soft border around it. Keep doing this for all the masks you want a softness modifier on. I'm just going to add a little bit to all of the masks. And that's good. As you can see, everything is outlined in the UI. So we're going to move this to the side for now. And we're going to focus on adding the gun. I'm going to go back into the color tab. Select our clip. Click plus on curve. And outline the whole gun. There we go. As you can see, I've outlined the whole entire gun. I'm going to go down the side outside of the clip. And I'm going to connect the mask. And add the alpha output drag the blue box to the blue circle and as you can see our gun is outlined again i'm gonna add a bit of softness to it and there we go now the final thing we want to do is uh add the background of the video for that, it's a little bit more tricky. Go over to the color tab and outline everything but the background. Now that you've outlined everything and you added your alpha output and your softness, click on this black box with the white circle on one of the masks and then click this white box with the black lined circle for the others. And as you can see, only the background remains. Now we have our different layers. We have our background, we have our gun, and then we have our UI. And we want them to slide in to the video to that beat. So, for example, we can delete this audio if we want. We don't need it. This UI should slide in at this point, this gun should slide in at this point, and the background should slide in at this point. The thing is, the slide animation should happen 5 frames before the, the uh, object or UI or background slides in all the way. So click on the video, click the left arrow key 5 times. One. Two, three, four, five. Drag the video. Do the same for the other. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna want to keyframe the um, the slide. Click on position. Go over to the beginning and position it until it's completely off screen. As you can see, it slides in from the left side. Now for this one, instead, we want it to slide in from the right side. Go over to the keyframe, sorry, the marker, tick position, whoops, wrong clip, tick position, go over to the beginning and slide it off screen. And now this one we could do from any direction. I'm going to do it from, let's make it slide in from the top. Again, go to the marker, click position, go to the beginning, and slide it off of the top. 
as you can see it slides on and once the music starts we can cut these three clips and add in the bass footage all right and that is our effect finished thank you so much for watching and here's the final product